What is going on guys? This is Shrek's again from SmartHerd. Welcome to Ruby tutorial number 5. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to take user input in Ruby and what is the difference between put s and print. And at last, I will show you the various types of variable types like integer, string and floating point values. Now, let's discuss about the difference between print and the put s statement. Print and put s. Print Hey, it's me from Smart Herd. Let's check it out. Now let's print another statement. Print. This is second line. Cool. Now just save it and run. You're getting the output like this. Hey, it's me from Smart Herd. This is second line. But we are using the print print statement here. That's why we are not getting a new line character after the smart herd. This simply shows that print statements just print the statement without the new line character. Now we have to insert the new line character manually, which is backslash. Where is the backslash? Sorry, backslash n. Now let's check it out. Save it. Yeah, here we go. Hey, it's me from smart herd. This is second line. Pretty awesome. Now, you must be quite shocked to see that I'm just writing the print statement and the string and not ending the statement with a semicolon. But initially, I was ending with a semicolon. Now, it's the beauty of Ruby. Either you end it with a semicolon or do not end it. It's, it causes no harm to your program. Let's check it out. Here we go. It is having the same output as we got before. Now, let's cancel this new line character. Backslash n. Then after that, let's replace the print statement with put s. Put s. Okay. Just save it. Run it. Hey, it's me from Smarter. This is second line. Here we have removed our new line character, but still we are getting the output like this. Hey, it's me from Smarter. This is second line. What is going on here? This put a statement actually by default putting a new line character here that's why we are getting the second this is second line at the second at the second line that's why we are getting the this is second line statement after the first statement like this now let's move on now let me show you guys how to take user input Edit it all, save it, run it, just clear the console. Then after that, put S, enter your name. It's up to you, you put your semicolon here or not. I don't like putting it here. Just take advantage of Ruby. Name equal to get S. Let's save it and execute it. Shrieks, enter. Nothing is here because we have not put a put statement here. Now let's print the statement. Put this name. Just save it and run it. Enter your name. Shrieks, enter. Yeah, here we go. We are getting the output as Shrieks. In Ruby, we just have to declare the variable name. We don't have to write string space name equal to get s like that. Because what? Because this get s is automatically converting this name into a string. So whatever we are entering, shrieks or whatever you name or any integer value also here, 50, 100, whatever numerical value or floating point value you are entering here instead of shrieks, that is automatically getting converted into a string and stored in the name. And after that, we are uh, we are printing the name now let's execute it again let's try it with a number enter your name 500 is my name okay let's execute it oh sorry 500 enter now we are getting the 500 this 500 is not an integer value here this is a string because by default get is just converting that 500 into a string and storing in the name now let me show you guys another way to input the string from the user Put us into your name, sorry. Change it to name. 
name equal to get is dot chomp put as name don't worry about this chomp I will tell you about this just execute it enter your name shrieks enter output shrieks now the output is getting same now you must be thinking why I have written what the hell I have written this dot chomp what is it all about you won't get the difference out here but if you are typing in the interactive ruby you will get the difference here just type name equal to get s hit enter it will ask it will wait for the user to enter something if I enter shrieks hit enter this will show the name is storing the variable shrieks backslash n which shows the get s function is storing the uh, value shrieks backslash n in the name now if I use name equal to get s dot chomp hit enter again user input shrieks hit enter now you can see the difference here this get s is by default is concating backslash n to shrieks but here get s dot chomp is striking out this backslash n from shrieks and storing just shrieks in the variable name this is all the difference between the getters and getters dot chomp both are storing the string variable but is a difference of only new line character in the next tutorial i will show you how to take user input for floating point values and in integer values so meanwhile you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned thank you